this is Anna. I'm a color consultant at The Grove here in Los Angeles. And today I want to show you how to create this bold purple look. So I want to invite you to party with me, get some good music going, stick around, because if you're into some fun makeup, you need to learn how to do this. All right, everyone, so let's get started. I'm just gonna clip my hair back so I don't get any makeup on my bangs. My hair is looking flawless and I wanna make sure it stays that way. Okay, so my first step is going to be the Marc Jacobs Recover Perfecting Coconut Setting Mist. And I'm just gonna apply that all over my face to make sure that all the products that go on top melt right into the skin. This is the Tatcha Water Cream, one of my favorite items. So I'm gonna start by applying the center of my face and just patting into the skin. And you guys can be generous with this product because it's really lightweight, so it works really good under makeup. So this is definitely one of my favorite items too. This is the Stila One Step Correct. It's just a serum that contains four different colors. It's going to improve my skin tone. I do have an even skin tone, a couple of dark spots here and there. Um, it's just going to prime and it's gonna help smooth any fine lines and wrinkles. So you can also apply that all over your face right after your moisturizer. So we're gonna go into another product. This is the Bosha Tsubaki Glotion Instant Luminizing Moisturizer. I do like to add a little bit of a glow. I'm going to target the areas that I want to be a little more dewy. So you can apply that on your cheekbones, a little bit on the nose, chin, and a little bit on your forehead too. You're more than welcome to apply that all over your face if you feel like you really wanna glow too. Don't be shy. So we're gonna go into the eye cream. This is the Dr. Dennis Gross C Plus Collagen Brighten and Firm Eye Cream. You really wanna make sure you hydrate your eyes every time you do your makeup. And I love this one because it's great for tired looking eyes, amazing to use under makeup because it makes sure your concealer stays put throughout the day. All right, you guys, I'm going to use now my favorite foundation. I've tried many foundations and this is definitely my favorite. It's the Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay In Place Makeup in color one and two Acru. And I'm going to apply this with the help of my favorite tool, Beauty Blender. So my favorite thing about this foundation, it's full coverage. It has a very buildable formula. It's a 24 hour staying foundation too. And if you don't want to set your makeup, you don't have to. I don't really like to put powder on my complexion. And this is definitely one of my favorite items because of that. All right, we're gonna dive into the brows. So I'm going to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade and I'm using color dark brown. I'm going to use the Dip Brow with the help of the Pro Brow Number 20 Sephora Collection brush. And with this product, you can use very little. A little bit goes a long way. I'm just going to start by lining the bottom of my brow and working to the outer corner. Just giving a little bit of a light and short strokes. I want a bold brow, but I still want to make sure that it looks a little more natural. And one of my favorite things about this brush too, it's that it has a spoolie at the end of the brush and you can use that to brush it out if you ever feel like you have too much product or if you want to diffuse any of the lines. So for our primer today, I'm gonna to use the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion with the original formula. It's translucent, there's no color. And my favorite method is just to get the brush, apply all over the lid, and with your fingers, you can lightly pat it and make sure it's all blended out. So to start our look, I'm going to use the Modern Renaissance Palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is an essential eyeshadow palette that everyone should have. So my first color is going to be Tempera. And I'm going to use the Pro Small Shadow Brush in number 15 from Sephora Collection. And I'm just gonna apply that all across my eyelid just to use as a base. Okay, so my second color is going to be the Raw Sienna and I'm going to use that to define my crease and to give a little more dimension. I'm using the Sephora Pro Brush in number 27, that's the Pro Blending. And I'm just gonna build this color as much as I can, but grabbing product little by little because I do wanna get an effect that it's very diffused. So you don't wanna go into it too much product you can just take your time and build your crease. So my next shade is gonna be the Burnt Orange. It's definitely one of my favorite shades on this palette. It just gives you that neutral tone that it's really beautiful and it complements any eye color. 
And even though we're doing a purple eye, I do like to start with the neutral tones. So when it's time to transition, it looks a little more seamless. Next color is going to be the Venetian Red. It's a beautiful pink with berry undertone. Right, with the help of our Pro Taper Crease brush number 19 from Sephora Collection, and I'm going to start applying that over my crease again, just to transition the color and just give a little more depth. That's gonna bring out a little more of that orange that we have underneath, and it's going to give that bold look that we're going for. So I'm gonna go with Tempera again, and I'm going to use that on my brow bone just to give a little bit of a lift and highlight that area. This is also great if you ever feel like you have a little bit of a harsh line, you can diffuse that with the brush. I did go back with my Sephora Collection Pro Small Shadow Brush in number 15. I am so excited. I'm going to use the Marc Jacobs Beauty Iconic Multi Finish Eyeshadow Palette in color Frivolux. We're gonna take our Pro Small Shadow Brush number 15 from Sephora Collection, and I'm gonna dip that into the color dress. This palette is super pigmented, so you don't need much product. Just make sure you tap off the excess before you apply it. So we're gonna switch brushes, and I'm gonna use the Pro Shader number 18 from Sephora Collection, and I'm gonna dip that into the color Outrageously. It's a beautiful purple, and I wanna pack that into the outer corner of my eyes and just make sure I blend it really nicely to diffuse with the other colors that we have going on here. All right, so we're gonna go ahead with Fabulous. I'm just going to use my fingers to pack this color into my eyelids. We definitely wanna give a little bit of a pop, a little bit of a shimmer. This is going to be the light of the party, you guys. How beautiful is this color? And then once again, we're gonna use our Pro Blending Brush number 27 from Sephora Collection to blend out the edges. Now we're gonna get our Pro Shader number 18 from Sephora Collection, and we're going to dip into Fabulous again. And I love this color. You can use it in your brow bone, on your eyelids, and apply in the inner corners as well, just to give a little bit of a pop. And don't be shy. You can dip this brush as many times as you want into this color and really pack it on the product. Next product is going to be the Marc Jacobs Beauty Highliner Matte Gel Eye Crayon Eyeliner in color Grapevine number 63. It's a beautiful dark purple. I love this eyeliner, guys. It's a 12-hour wear formula. It has a very intense color payoff, too, and it glides on. I'm going to use two tight lines. So basically, I'm going to apply the product in between my lashes, and this is going to make sure that my eyes look bigger and beautiful. It's definitely a little trick that everyone should do when they're doing their eyeshadow. So since this formula, it's a really long wear formula, you have 15 seconds to play with this. I'm going to go ahead with our Pro Smudge Brush number 11 from Sephora Collection, and I'm gonna smudge that. And after I've smudged, this is gonna set, and it's not gonna move, it's gonna stay on all day. So our next step is going to be the Bobbi Brown Instant Full Cover Concealer in shade Ivory. And I'm going to apply this with my Beauty Blender. I'm going to create a little triangle under my eye, and I'm going to blend that out and make sure it's put. I love this concealer, it's super intense, it's water and sweat resistant, and it gives the full coverage that I like. It also has a super beautiful brightening effect too, and it can camouflage any dark circles. So with the concealer, I like to use this little trick where I'm going to apply that on the bridge of my nose and then on my chin, and use the Beauty Blender to blend that out to really define my features. And then I go ahead and I put a little bit on my forehead as well. And you guys can use your damp beauty blender to blend that out and to make sure there's no harsh lines or edges. I love this concealer by Bobbi Brown because it's the perfect combo with my double wear. I don't like to set my makeup with powder and the concealer just locks in with the foundation. So I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to line the bottom of my waterline with eyeshadow. And I'm gonna grab that amazing, outrageously color from our Marc Jacobs Beauty Iconic Multi-Finish Eyeshadow Palette. And I'm using the Pro Shader Brush number 18. And I'm going to start blending that out as well and just connecting with the eyeshadow that we have on the top. Right, um, before we apply any mascara, I'm going to use the Lancome Lip Curler, Eyelash Curler. This is just going to give a little bit of a lift. 
Alright, so this is one of my favorite liners by Kat Von D. This is the Tattoo Liner in Trooper. And I love this eyeliner because it gives me all the definition that I need. I love the little brush. It's also super used to use. So if you feel like you have a problem doing your wing liner, this is what you need to get. It's very precise, has an amazing applicator, and it's waterproof. So it stays all day and it doesn't smudge. Right now I'm really going for like a bold wing liner. I know some people like to do very thin. So it really depends on the person. I personally love a bold liner and with this look I feel like it really complements it. So don't be afraid guys, go to town with that liner. And for mascara, I'm going to use one of my favorite mascaras ever. That's the Marc Jacobs Beauty Velvet Noir Major Volume Mascara in black. So this mascara is the blackest creamy formula and it's going to give you major volume. And one of my favorite things about this formula too is that it's smudge proof. Now I love to use a different mascara for my bottom lash and I love the Estee Lauder Double Wear Zero Smudge Lengthening Mascara. This product has a very tiny brush and I love it because it's just perfect to get into those tiny lashes that we have on the bottom and it doesn't smudge so it stays put throughout the day too. So I don't feel like I'm a crying panda. Time to contour! This is the Tarte Tarte's Pro Glow Highlight and Contour Palette and I'm going to use the Sephora Pro brush number 79 and I'm going to use the color Sculpt. I'm not using all the shades on this palette today but I do love how this powder is super lightweight so I can definitely build that color. It doesn't feel too harsh on the skin. I'm going to chisel my cheekbones and jot line with this powder just to make sure that I get all those lines very defined. Because this brush is super tapered I can take a little bit of that sculpting powder, the tar palette, and sculpt my nose too. Now it's time for some bronzer. I'm going to use the Too Faced Chocolate Lay Bronzer. It has a matte formula and for that I'm going to apply with our Pro Flawless Powder Brush number 40 by Sephora Collection. It's just going to give that sun-kissed look. I'm going to apply that over my contour and just blend it out. All right, today's blush is going to be the Benefit Cosmetics California Blush. It's a beautiful golden pink tone. It's definitely going to give that sun-kissed look that I want for my complexion. And I love this blush too because it has a very sheer formula and you can build that with your brush. So it really depends on the intensity that you want. I know we're going for a bold eye so I definitely want my cheeks to be a little more soft. But hey, if you love blush, go for it. Oh my god everyone, I'm so excited that I'm going to use this product for our tutorial today. This is the Fenty Beauty by Rihanna and it's the Kilowatt Freestyle Highlighter in color Meet Money and Hustla Baby. So with the help of the brush number 98 by Sephora Collection, I'm going to apply the Hustla Babe color on the areas that I definitely want a little bit more of a pop of color that I want to highlight. Just on top of my bronzer, contour, a little bit on the bridge of my nose and then a little bit above my brows as well. So if you are someone who loves to highlight, don't be afraid and pack on this color. It's gonna give you a beautiful, beautiful highlight. I'm so ready to apply my lipstick. I definitely need some color on my lips and today I'm going to use the Kat Von D Everlasting Liquid Lipstick. It's a beautiful bright purple and it's a liquid to matte formula. I'm not lining my lips today with a lip liner because I feel like this brush definitely gives me all the definition that I need. So you can totally line with the brush and then fill in your lips with the rest of the product that you have on your brush. So one of my favorite things about this uh, lipstick is that it's definitely the hero of the look. It definitely brings out my eyes, the complexion. So moving into brows, I'm just going to use the Brow Gel by Anastasia Beverly Hills and this one is in clear. It's great to just keep all your hairs in place and it definitely gives a little bit more of a texture too. So you can use this alone or if you use the Dip Brow or another product, you can just top it off with that. Brows on fleek! I definitely think it's worth adding lashes. I'm a lash girl and I love the Sephora collection on more lashes. This is a very dramatic style. And to apply these lashes today, I'm going to use the House of Lashes Eyelash Adhesive. It's a brush on type of glue and I love because it gives a little bit more of a control when you are applying the glue on the lash. 
and it, it's and it also dries really quickly so you don't have to be waiting around or even blowing your lash give a little bit maybe like 15 seconds and you can pop those on so today I'm gonna set my makeup with the Marc Jacobs Beauty Recover Perfecting Coconut Setting Mist and I love this setting mist because it's infused with coconut it smells amazing and besides setting your makeup it gives you more of a dewy look and I love that I'm definitely going for the glow today all right so I'm gonna take my hair down I'm going to use the dry shampoo by Bumble and Bumble and this is the BB Pret a powder tress invisible nourishing dry shampoo with hibiscus extract all right so I'm going to use a dry shampoo just to give a little bit of a volume on my roots and also just to freshen up my style and it smells amazing too now this is the final touch of every look. Today I'm using the Yves Saint Laurent Montpellier Eau de Toilette. My favorite thing about this fragrance is that it's super iconic but it's also more of a fresh luminous version of the iconic Montpellier. Thank you so much everyone for sticking around and partying with me today. I had so much fun and I hope you really learned how to create this look. If you have any tips and tricks please write down below in the comments your favorite lip color. I would love to learn from you guys. Don't forget also to subscribe to the Sephora channel and follow me on social media at Anna Meliani. I hope to see you guys soon and thank you so much. 